Hi, it's Roger Hamilton with your losing formula. Now, if you just watched the video, which is about your winning formula, this is like the opposite. It's not about the spiral that moves you up in your life. It's one that actually brings you down. And we're all familiar with it because we all had this happen at some point in our lives. So I'm gonna share with you the structure of this in such a way that you don't just use this for yourself within your genius, but you also will realize when there are other people who are totally out of their flow or where they're coming into your environment and taking you out of your flow. This isn't just about people in your team. It isn't just about people in your family. It's even about people who are advisors or people that you might see out there who are giving you information or, or saying, go follow this in this particular way, which might be right for them. But frankly, it might be wrong for you based on the fact that you're a different genius. So first of all, let me just share, as I did in the last of the, uh, of the videos, that there is a square, which is the four geniuses. And then there is the way that they link together with a fifth element, which is what we call spirit, which allows us to actually see that you can move from uh, dynamo, which is spring genius, uh, through to blaze, which is all about the people, uh, which is fire genius or, or summer genius. You've got tempo, which is autumn or earth genius. Then you've got steel, which is winter or metal genius. And when we actually link those together, we then have a final one up here, which is the water energy spirit, which is all about flow which actually is, allow, is able to power us up, to lift us to where we're meant to be. And what's really important here is that there's actually a hierarchy of powers that we can tap into, which I'll go through when you actually cycle up one to another. So effectively, you can tell whether you're going upwards or downwards based on these three powers. And I'll get to that before I get to the end of this video. And I think you'd be quite surprised by what you hear here. Now, let's go through, first of all, how these all link together to create something called your destructive cycle. This is your losing formula. Uh, as you remember, we went through how all of these geniuses with the fifth element link together to create a flow of time. And this flow of time is a cycle which actually allows us to be able to grow our consciousness of what it is that we're aware of about our own genius. Uh, and as we go through this, each one of these, you'll see, has with it a particular energy which I've mentioned before. So a dynamo genius who loves to grow. This is wood energy. Uh, if you want to link this to the Western energies, which is really something that moved from Aristotle and Plato across when they started using these energies here, this is similar to like air energy. If you think about air and fire, uh, different types of energy. This one here, dynamo, this is now moving from dynamo uh, to blaze genius because of course you need wood to turn into fire, different type of genius. And they're brilliant at being able to actually get that sharing and get it out there. If they have the what, they can focus that to create the who. If they got the wood, the products, they're great at being able to go out and market that or share that with the world. And they always have brilliant networks. You then have the tempo, who don't have to have wide networks because they've got deep networks. They've got people, these are the people who are the best at getting referrals. They're the best at getting the stories. Very different type of person. So if you're gonna build a team then you're gonna have the one to have the people that are creative, so you don't have to worry what's the idea. And they'll be great at going out and finding others and what they're doing as well, so they can make sure theirs is even smarter or quicker or better or faster. You're gonna find that the Blaze geniuses are just so connected to all the right people in a way that Dynamo geniuses aren't. You'd wanna work with someone who actually has a great network that can get you connected and partner with you. You're gonna find that Tempo genius are great at service, something that many people miss. But it's so important if you're gonna build a lasting enterprise or if you're gonna have a team that's gonna make a big difference where you're actually measuring your results. And this is earth energy, and then you then move to steel, which is the metal. And when you look at the measures and the detail, uh, everything, every enterprise needs to have that ability to be sustainable, which comes as a result of actually having the cycle come through as well. So you don't have to be an entrepreneur and be in a business to know this. You could be in a job. You could be simply out there looking to make a difference in a nonprofit. You could be at school still. But by actually understanding that there's a cycle which is constructive, which is one thing, wood turns to fire, fire settles to earth, earth creates metal, and then from water, you need water to create wood again, which is spirit energy, that clearly is the winning formula. So what is the losing formula? <laughs> the, the losing formula is the fact that each of these destroys the next. So for example, metal chops down wood. Uh, how, how many times have you been in a brainstorming session? And it's like, wow, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna... And then someone shows up who's steel energy. He's a guy, he's got the glasses on, he's analytical. He walks in the room. It's like the moment he walks in, suddenly everyone becomes self-conscious because all that energy suddenly chops right down. 
And everyone's like, what we're going to do is we're going to have this amazing. And they're like, he's like, how? This is a whole different energy, right? How? That, that is the losing formula, which immediately will cut this down. So by understanding that by someone who is in creative mode is asking how we're going to do this when it's the wrong question, that becomes your losing formula. It chops up the wood. Now, having said that, what is the, what is the winning formula? It's asking the question, who? It's a different type of question. So in the same way that you have a link there, well, what is the losing formula of someone who's a fire energy? Well, fire energy is already about meeting all the different people. You don't know where the magic's going to come from. If you've got some great thing you're doing and you're connecting with people, someone comes along here and goes, why? Why are you even speaking to that person? That's your losing formula when you're trying to find meaning in everything, when in fact, sometimes it's the magic that happens by a connection showing up with another connection. So by understanding, again, that water puts out fire, that's why that actually becomes a destructive cycle. And it's the same for Earth. If you've got people who are really sensory and all they're looking for is someone comes along and someone like says, I've got a problem with this service, and all that someone at tempo level really needs to do is to listen to them, to understand that. But instead of saying, well, what we should have done is this and what was going to happen was this and what you should have got was this, then someone who's out here who needs to be served doesn't feel good at all about the fact that the wood's breaking up all the earth. Because right? it's not even about the wood. It's about the settling. It's not about the growing. So by understanding, oh my gosh, that's why we keep on ending up making these mistakes. And then the same thing for the metal. Metal is a fire energy. When it's about the how, it's about the detail. And you're constantly actually trying to bring it back out to like, no, let's go out and actually meet with everybody. It's like, I just need to analyze everything. I don't need to go and meet them. Like, hear this person's story as to why he didn't get to this target. I don't need to hear the story. He just didn't get there. Understanding that actually the fire melts the metal. And each one of these has this, this way that it actually breaks it down as opposed to build it up. Understanding this is really powerful. And most importantly, knowing that in the same way that if you have someone who is, as I mentioned in the last video, really focused, at the future and actually like, here's where we're going to go. Here's what's going to happen. Trying to make that person be sensory around everything around them, which means that losing formula for Dynamo is all about consultation. Let's go speak to everybody. Dynamo is not strong at doing that at all. You just put them into their weakness. Uh, same here. Tempo, let's go out, create something. Show me your plan. You've just ended up taking them totally out of their genius. Uh, Steel from the Blaze side, which is all about um, uh, communication. Come on, let's go out there and let's tell everyone about what you're up to. Let's get you on stage. Uh, you know, wh why haven't you gone out and got that information? You've just, again, taken away all their genius and you've made them look stupid. And similarly, on the Blaze side, calculation. Show me that you've actually worked all this out. Show me all the detail. Show me your spreadsheet. Again, you've just also taken them out of their genius. We could be so destructive without even realizing it. But once you get this, that the way that we work with others to bring out their genius allows them to lift themselves up from one level to another, we don't go down the destructive cycle. We don't end up taking someone as low as they can be. We take them upwards. I've been there. I remember when I was like in my 20s and uh, I'd just come out of a business which it was going great. I thought it was going to go fantastic, but I just ended up getting just too focused at all of these things, trying to do everything. And where I was great, which is on the creative side, because I'm a dynamo genius, I ended up actually feeling that I was just not good at doing any of the other things. And as a result, the whole business collapsed. And I was in a situation which was like, what do I do about this? Where do, should I even be in business? So what I did in order for I stop the downward spiral where I had been focusing at all my weaknesses is I came back to the first question, which is why? Well, why am I even here? Why am I even doing the things I'm doing? Why, why did my parents believe in me? Why did my friends believe in me? And as a result of that, I got enough water, enough energy to be able to grow some new wood. He says, what am I going to do next? And I actually moved to Singapore from London. And when I came to Singapore, I, I remember walking down the streets and seeing all these people that looked really successful. And I was there thinking, geez, you know, why is it they're all successful and I'm not? But I was so determined that I was going to find something new and bright to do. And I came up for what, which was creating a new publishing business that I got involved in. And from the what, I got to the who, which is about, so who's going to help me to do this so I don't have to feel like a failure in the areas I'm not so strong? And from that, we then ended up with a plan, like when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen. And then that team figured out the how. And that's the constructive cycle that moves up. What are the three different powers that, that as you start moving up, you get to? The first power here is a power which is called elected power. And elected power is like a wind-up radio. The more you're actually like, wanting to hear the radio, the more you need to wind it up. But it's really tiring to do it. And if you're working on elected power, it's exhausting every day just to keep you going. But as you start cycling up and you get your teams together and you get geniuses around you, you move to something called connected power. Just using the genius, uh, social genius part, using the genius, genius circle, you're going to find this happen. 
where connection starts to happen, which is like plugging in the radio. Now you don't have to actually go winding it up every day because you've got that connection. But if that connection pulls out, then it all falls back down again, which means the next step up, which is the most important, you get to becomes reflected power, which is like a solar powered radio. It's like you don't even have to worry anymore about connecting it in because you just got yourself to a point high enough that as a re result of your light of what you're shining, you have the ability to be able to shine that light on others. And every day when you're waking, you're waking into your genius and everyone is supporting you in yours because why? Because you are sharing and supporting them in theirs. Focus your genius and make sure that you allow everyone around you to focus at theirs as well and get yourself to that level where reflective power allows you to become the sun in your life and the light in the life of those around you. Thank you.